bro, bro, and bro again. We got the last video tonight. We always got to end it off. Now, I ain't going to say always because it might be some days that I don't end it off with a scary video. But, you know, most nine times out of ten, man, um, five times, I'm going to say five times out of ten, we're going to end the night with a scary video. Now, look, this is not Bizarre Bulb, so they might got some clips that we've seen before. And if we seen it before, let the people that didn't see it see it. All right, y'all. So don't get too mad and be like, you should have skipped that video. Nah, I ain't skipping it. I'm gonna let people watch what they need to watch. But um, let's get straight into the video. We already got the lights off. Can't turn all the lights off because then y'all ain't gonna be able to see me. I'm already um, you know. But um, let's get straight to this video, guys. Oh, this is how it start. What's that? Nolan, a tattoo artist, maintains a TikTok presence. Wait, that was a dude yelling like that? Creations, which truly impress and stir a curiosity about tattoos within me. Recently, after a strenuous day at work, Nolan found himself drifting off to sleep on his couch. However, what followed shortly thereafter upon awakening was nothing short of chilling. Oh, yeah, see, we seen his video, y'all. I never knew he was a tattoo artist. This gave me way more information. I mean, that's why. The noise of his door unlocking startled him awake. And when he glanced towards the kitchen, the door abruptly ceased its movement. However... Within moments, the same door forcefully closed, jolting Nolan from his sleep. This alarming incident, captured on camera, appears highly aggressive. Nolan himself admits it's the most frightened he's ever been. The cause behind this unsettling activity remains uncertain. Thank life. I was in his shoes. I would have thought is, that was somebody trying to it break in my cease house. Its forceful actions within his home. Reddit user. Justin claims that he and his family have recently acquired and settled into a historically terraced house situated in London. That is England. a dumb idea. Like, However, who thinks of living in that kind of place? In the process of renovating the property, Justin asserts that his doorbell security camera captured something profoundly unsettling. Oh, we've seen this clip. I'm just saying, like, why would you even, um,. Do something that's stupid, bro. I ain't gonna lie. In my opinion, I think that was somebody trying to rob your house, bro. Like, you even see the walk up. It's not like they just disappear. No, they, they, they right there. Look, it didn't even come back. Like, that, 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 that was somebody. At approximately 10 p.m., an unidentified individual or entity was observed briefly peering at Justin's front door. Subsequently, it seemed to traverse past the vehicle parked in the driveway before vanishing from sight. Given the extensive history of Justin's residence spanning two centuries, he expresses concern that recent renovations may have inadvertently provoked a paranormal manifestation. However, concerned Reddit users cautioned Justin that he could be confronting a more ominous threat. A trespasser surveilling his property for undisclosed motives. Thus, the question arises, is this occurrence indicative of a supernatural presence, or does it signify the presence of a genuine and potentially hazardous intruder? The determination rests with you. A security camera positioned in a school classroom captured footage after regular school hours. The teacher remaining behind to complete administrative tasks I can't be to a engage teacher, bro. in conversation with an unseen individual I can't Pay be at school long enough to the already. following sequence Talking. Be 
practicing his lesson. I ain't gonna lie, that school's so broke. Yeah, I got the teacher with a with a Chair move or something? He said he about it there. He is smart. That's what I mean. That's how you gotta be, bro. You see something crazy happen, you gotta leave. No questions asked. Just walk straight up out of there. What happened though? The teacher observed as he briskly entered the next classroom, scanning the room for his son amidst the ongoing lecture. Noticing his absence, he promptly excused himself and ventured to the adjoining class to assist her. To his bewilderment, he found the room empty. Troubled by this inexplicable occurrence, he that is gathered creepy, his bro. belongings. Imagine here in a full classroom home. next door just Recalling chatting the it up there going over there's nobody. The teacher maintains that he conversed with a mother seeking her son's whereabouts. An unsettling detail emerges as he intermittently glanced towards the door, attempting to establish eye contact with the woman. Adding to the disquiet, Numerous observers claim to have glimpsed the silhouette of a woman lingering near the classroom entrance, with some even attesting to hearing her up. voice this preceding sad. the teacher's dialogue. This indicates that he genuinely observed something at the entrance to the classroom. Subsequently, upon discovering no presence, he departed in profound fear. Without delay, his colleagues unanimously concurred that this occurrence bore signs of the paranormal. Regrettably, the footage continues to confound. The question persists. Who or what was the teacher engaging with? A family was relaxing one evening, but suddenly they find themselves into an unsettling situation. Their dogs started act strangely and respond to the presence of an inexplicable entity. That's why I cannot have a dog, bro. They're going to provoke the ghost. And open the door. Look. Is he out there? Yeah? Put your hands up. Did you hear that knock? Yes, I did. Open? That creeped me out. Look at him. I thought it was Mr. Business. Somebody went. They sure as fuck And did. then opened the fucking door. I really wish we got that in camera. Did we get that on camera? I had to have been on our... Let's look at our history. Look at Minga staring at somebody. Yeah. Pay close attention to the moment just preceding the door's apparent self-opening, in case you missed anything. Did he just knock? Who There's threw the a frisbee? noticeable knock at the door, signaling someone's presence. Despite our thorough observation, no visible entity seems to be responsible, yet the dog's reaction suggests otherwise. Initially, we speculated that the knocking might have been edited out of the final video, but the dog's real-time response negates that possibility. The authenticity is further affirmed by the door's spontaneous opening, ruling out post-production manipulation. This scenario raises questions about the potential use of software masking and the presence of an unseen individual. Why well, ghosts be messing with people, out, though? the dog would likely exhibit some form of acknowledgement, perhaps through tail wagging. Its playful demeanor, coupled with a nearby toy, also suggests readiness for interaction. Furthermore, if an intruder or even a playful presence were present, the dog's instinctual response, such as barking or engaging in play, would be expected. Considering the dog's focused attention solely on the door, Alternative explanations arise. Could someone have manipulated the door handle from a concealed location within the house? The dog's lack of diversion suggests otherwise. This leaves us contemplating the authenticity of this footage, pondering whether it holds paranormal significance or can be rationalized through debunking. Let me know your That's opinion a big on this dog. One. 
Some years ago, YouTube user Joey Official embarked on a visit to one of America's renowned haunted sites, a location we have frequently explored on this channel, the notorious Queen Mary. Opting for an intense experience, he chose to reside in room B340, reputed as the most spirited quarters aboard the ship. Accompanied by his companions Danny and People Aldo, like this is crazy. the trio because devised like, a plan to engage with, with the Ouija, Ouija board? board for communication, an activity I advise against. Thus, at 3 a.m. amidst darkness, they illuminated candles and commenced their inquiries. Is there anybody here with us now? Can you please give me a sign? Bro, just moved a bit. And then, like, you know what happens when you get possessed? Bro, it's moving a bit. Stop, stop. But not enough. Okay, bro. Let's try one more. Let's ask one more time. Let's go. Oh, what the hell? Yo, don't take your hand off the Ouija board. Oh, what the hell? That is bad. Shh. Okay, stop, stop. Not gonna lie. They could have been the one pushing it. Y'all here? What the hell? That was, well, right. was something in the closet. That was the fridge. That was the fridge. You sure? Yeah, yeah the fridge Bro, turned off. I swear to God, that was right by our door. Hmm? Yeah, whatever that was, that was, that was right by our door. Upon discerning peculiar sounds emanating from the room, the individuals began to feel uneasy. Regrettably, they opted to persist despite their apprehension. Another one, two, three. Is there any spirit here in this room? Bro, it's moving. Oh my god. No, you guys are moving here, right? Bro, my I swear fingers are god. barely even on it. I can take one finger off. Don't take your hand yeah, off, right. though. Bro, it's still moving, it's still moving, it's still moving. Stop. Just make it stop. Bro, how, do we, how can we make, make it, it stop? stop? Bro. It says yes. It says yes. Oh my god. Don't bro. take your hand off. Bro, it's you. We finished asking the question. It answered. That's you guys, right? Like, you're supposed to move it, right? Bro, put it back in the middle. No, you're not supposed to move it. Oh my god. Okay, bro. We know there's a freaking okay. spirit here. Okay, let's ask to say goodbye. Bro, hang on, bro. I'm telling you, like, I keep hearing something from the closet. Bro, I keep seeing things. Like, I don't even want to turn that way. That was the loudest voice I've ever heard in my life coming from the closet. Or well, anywhere. That was like a freaking man's voice. That was a man's voice. Well, this makes me really uncomfortable. So why are you doing this? Okay, bro. Ask him one last time. We've been time. doing challenges, but I saw the washroom door open. I will never unsee that ever again. <gasps> it's moving. <laughs> <laughs> Moving. See that ever again. Damn. Oh, it's moving. Oh, oh, bro, what is going on? What you mean? What is going on? You clearly got a Ouija board and asked for the creepiest room on the ship. Oh my God. Bro, what the hell? What the hell is happening? Bro? Oh, I heard what is going on? Holy shit. Hey, bro, that 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 door just. Oh my, my God. Bro. Yeah, I got me. That door just closed. Tearing up for y'all. Oh my god. Bro, I told you I heard something. <coughs> Did I tell you I heard something? Oh my that? god. Okay. That's on camera. You guys are screwing around and shit. We summoned something. Hey, well, bro, like... As Joey rested his hand on the planchette, the door to the left abruptly shut, seemingly of its own accord. Simultaneously, the robe hanging in the closet forcefully shifted along its rack. The sudden occurrences startled the group. At first, I thought that coat was a ghost. Fear and hastily retreat to the opposite side of the room. Witnessing these eerie events, I too would undoubtedly react in a similar manner. You wouldn't have to in react in that panic, manner if you're not playing with a Ouija board. They bid farewell through the Ouija board and vacated the premises reaffirming the seriousness of the haunting aboard the Queen Mary. The old Lake County Jail is renowned for its reputation as a haunted site. It has earned the title of the most haunted location in Indiana 
due to Damn. reported apparitions, mysterious footsteps, and other eerie occurrences within its cells. Despite its chilling reputation, the YouTube channel Afterlife Sessions recently conducted an investigation at the jail, capturing unsettling Prisons events on camera. Prison's gotta be the most camera. haunted place. Take Look at those beds look. they had to sleep George Catifers. Look at those cells they had to live in. You gotta think, some people spent Was their whole life in this cell block. There. He rammed his head into these bars and fractured his skull too. I hear walking. Yeah, Dude? those people yeah. is crazy. Where at? Did you hear footsteps in there? No. It was over this way. Upon discerning footsteps emanating from one of the corridors, they opted to delve deeper into the matter. However, it was at that moment they stumbled upon something that instilled a profound sense of dread within. I bet it was really hard during these warm summer nights to relax. Not only were you in jail, it's hot up here. There's no ventilation, no air conditioning. I see nothing. As the camera sweeps across the room, a looming, indistinct figure comes into view. Oh. This occurrence might easily be dismissed as a trick of the light or a mere coincidence. Or well, it could have been a shadow. They this own isn't shadow. the initial instance of such an encounter. During their initial exploration of this purportedly haunted site, they captured a similar shadowy presence, but under different circumstances. This time, it materialized within a securely locked prison cell, inaccessible to the team. Interestingly, the figure remained unseen until the post-production phase, coinciding with a sensation of vertigo experienced by the cameraman while passing the cell. Furthermore, he recounted an inexplicable sensation of being pushed to one side. Subsequently, he awoke to discover inexplicable scratches on his back. Given the historical context of paranormal activity within that's the jail, that's why I be trying to tell y'all, bro. That's why I be trying to tell y'all don't go around doing ghost stuff, y'all, because um, he went home and now he got scratches on his back. That probably happened to him in his sleep, and you know what that means? That means it's attached to him now. The subtlety of these shadowy apparitions lends credence trying to, to the possess authenticity him and stuff like of that. the footage. Many viewers interpret this as compelling evidence of the supernatural. Yet, skepticism persists. Is this truly evidence of a haunting or merely a hoax? It's not that, it's not that haunted. Let me know your thoughts. If that's the most haunted spot, y'all got some good ghosts over there in, 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 in Hero, Illinois. Known for their extensive work on the YouTube channel Omega Toki Film, embark on a mission to probe an ancient residence in Agui, Japan. Japan is one Legend of the most haunted it spots that to the me. eerie confines of this dwelling are inhabited by the spectral presence of a youthful soul. As the intrepid duo delves deeper into their investigation, they stumble upon a concealed passageway. Y'all still the got structure. COVID over there? Look at the door. Got a door in the closet? And you go in there with one way to escape? It was locked at first, did it? But y'all Japan people, I kinda like these houses y'all be at. You didn't see that? No way he didn't see that. 
確かに。Yeah, like a child. Oh, watch the blinky go start rising, bro. How much you in a bit? Oh. I guess I was wrong. The concealed passageway leads to what appears to be a chamber designated for the care of an ailing child. However, as Tomo and Hiro venture into this eerie enclave, a figure briefly reveals itself from behind a curtain before swiftly retreating from view. Perplexed, the investigators press on with their exploration, unaware of the significance of this fleeting encounter. Opting to remain alone within the premises, Hero endeavors to ascertain if the purported ghost haunting the property will manifest. Having positioned his phone as a stationary recording device in an adjacent room, he spends half an hour in solitary vigil. That's stupid. Despite occasional Why? peculiar Why are you sounds, doing it? the interval passes uneventfully. It is only when Hero inspects the footage captured by his static camera that the situation takes a potentially significant turn. Hero's phone has inexplicably toppled over, ceasing its recording. Damn. Upon later inspection of the footage by the Omega Toki team, they are startled by the unsettling content captured by the phone camera. What's on An there? eerie sound accompanies the appearance of a strange visage. I don't see nothing. Oh. As the camera tumbles, a ghostly visage materializes. Upon scrutinizing their recordings, Tomo and Hiro are convinced that the ancient house harbors an elusive supernatural presence. The comprehensive investigation is available for viewing on the Omega Toki Film YouTube channel. A woman was doing some laundry work in the kitchen. While she was working, she noticed strange sounds coming from somewhere nearby. As she checked the source That's of the noise, she suddenly encountered a mysterious figure standing outside of the window. <laughs> she tried to escape, but unfortunately the door was closed. After some struggle, <gasps> she went to check again, and what she encountered there was really scary. Hakim! What's going on? Hakim! Oh. oh my god, bro, that is not right, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro, this is the scariest clip of the video, bro. I got chills, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I feel something with that one, bro. What, 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 what was that, bro? So, who or what? I don't know who it was, but I'm not trying to find out that one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm chi I got chills, bro. Thank you for this video, bro. You, this video was a W. I ain't gonna lie. This video was a dub. Damn. Damn. That was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would've passed out from um being scared, bro. I ain't, I would've started hyperventilating and stuff like that, bro. That is the craziest clip of the video. I was gonna, you know how I'd be like, and I gotta think about the craziest clip. Now that is the craziest clip because that thing is actually 
peek behind counters and stuff like this is call of duty oh no i'm out of there and that one they playing with the ouija board but that was stupid like that was that was bound to happen but she is by herself like at least the men they was with somebody you no know, she is up in there chilling in her house and it got some creepy eyeball looking girl over here looking at her that that's crazy but uh woo, i style love y'all like comment and subscribe do all that dumb stuff for me, and your boy is about to head on out. Peace, and I love y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that stuff for me. Your boy trying to get a thousand, and y'all should have more videos more often because I'm boy, your boy about to be out of school. I am trying to pursue some kind of college or some kind of, you know, good trade or something like that so I can get, you know, a better jobs and stuff like that, bro. I'm trying to get, like, a job that's, like, $30 an hour. You know, your boy trying to get paid. Your boy trying to get paid, but like, comment, subscribe, support me a little bit so I can start getting, you know, stuff on my channel and make a little, look, make a little side money. That's why. Peace out, y'all. I love y'all. And like, comment, subscribe. Do all that dumb stuff for me. Tell me if y'all. I know y'all like. I know y'all gonna like this video. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Especially if the ones that's the real ones that stay to the end. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I still got chills. But um, I'm gonna let y'all go. And peace out. And I love y'all.